Oh my, what the, what the? <laughs> Did you see that? That was crazy. Hey guys, Total Legion here. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another video. Today we're we'll playing some more Napoleon Total War Online Battles. I'll be playing as Portugal today. And, sorry, I'll be playing as Spain. And my ally will actually be playing as Portugal. I kind of got mixed up there. And we're going to be taking on the Netherlands and France. And Rhaegar will be in charge of France today. And Frank will be in charge of the Netherlands. And then Reed, my ally, obviously, is, uh, is Portugal. So, let's go ahead and click play. Actually, no, let's go over the army comps first, I think. Uh, so up here, I've got some uh, Cazadores. I'm actually testing out the Gorillas. This is literally the first time uh, in this video that I actually had tested them out. We've got some of these uh, Triadores here, which I'm actually about to move because I see these guys coming up. I shouldn't have probably done that. I should have kept them there and uh, turned off fire at will. That was a big mistake there. Uh, I also brought along some Hussars back here, and we also have some Lancieros and some Voluntarios. And then our main army comp over here, we have our six pounder horse artillery, some fusiliers. We then have, I think, three of these light infantry. No, we have two of these, sorry. Two light infantry. Then one, two, I think we have three over there. Yep, three, four, four fusiliers, and one unit of Walloon Guards. Here comes the rockets early on. I might actually want to pause it here so we don't uh, miss too much of the action. I brought along a general here, this is General Staff, and I also got some 12 pounder artillery, and some more Cazadores, uh, the horse. So, let's go ahead and look at Portugal's setup. They brought along some Triadores, they got two of those, uh, and they got some infantry here. Again, like Spain, they don't really have that much variety in their, uh, their core army. He's brought along some militia, that's more infantry and a lot more infantry. And then some more Triodores, some more Triodores, some Grenadiers, a general staff unit, and one unit of artillery, which is his 12 pounder. Then his opponent, which is Netherlands, has brought along lots of line infantry. Again, not much variety. He's got one, two, I think three, I can see here. Three line infantry. He's got two howitzers. Uh, and then he has some Nasir Jaegers, I think that's how you say it. He's got his general staff, he's got some carabiners. And then over here, he has some Dutch flankwears, some line inventory, he's got two more of those, and some more Dutch flankwears and some carabiners. And then finally, the army I'm going to be going up against, which is France. They have brought along the Swiss foot, they've got two Swiss foot, I think. And they, oh no, they've actually got three. Got three Swiss foot, some chasseurs. What has they got here? They got some, oh, they got the Grand Battery. That's going to, uh, hopefully, for Rhaegar's sake, play a lot in this battle. He's got some rocket troops, some Vod gears, some... He's got general staff, and then he also has some cavalry hidden in these units. I think he has, like, the 6E Hussars, I think that's what they're called. So, let's go ahead and click play. And, uh, get into this battle. So, I'm going to, uh, move up my... Six pounders here on top of this hill position because I thought you know it'd be nice to, to try and shoot down into this kind of valley here. Uh, but I didn't actually anticipate this little ridge, this little ridge here, and my cannonballs kept on bouncing off and missing all their targets. So we're gonna trade shots here. I get a, a somewhat nice volley off, didn't do too much damage, and they're gonna just start to uh, take down my video dollars. And there we go, and I'm going to be forced to having to retreat them in a second here. Not much going on on the Portuguese flank. They're still kind of setting up. Moved out of your channel. And that's my team speak. I need to actually quickly mute Sound everything muted. on team speak. Because otherwise we're going to have that going on throughout this whole video. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what else we've got here. So the Carabiners, they're going to come into play a lot because I don't think... Portugal actually brought any cavalry, which is very interesting. So I've actually got a unit of cavalry, like I said, hidden up here. These Cazadores. Cazadores. Wow, I really can't speak. <laughs> and then I'm going to look, if possible, to try and flank with this unit of cavalry. 
Because <clears throat> if I can do that, I'll be able to meet up with my other hidden units over here. He actually went for a cav charge here, but he thought otherwise. Uh, because he actually saw my... Um, these these Cazadolos here actually come out of the forest. And now France just starting to form up their line. A lot of my units are still hidden. That's the beauty about Spain. You can pretty much hide all your units. Especially, well, obviously the Gorillas. And I have brought a lot of them with me today. I think I brought the maximum amount you can bring. So I've still got this unit of calf hidden, hidden in this, uh, this forest here. And uh, Netherlands is sending up some of these Dutch Lanquias, which is a perfect, perfect opportunity for for me to use my, uh, my cavalry here. So the 12 pounders starting to limber, unlimber even, and hopefully they can start to uh, do a bit more damage than the 6 pounders, because as you see they are missing wildly. And then these are the, uh, the 3 dollars that actually retreated earlier. And he's going to send in his 5e, sorry not the 6e, yeah, the 5e here. These are the unit of cavalry that was hidden earlier on. Actually, I thought he was going to charge it into my lights, but I guess not. Oh, he is. Yep, he is. So now my Cazadores are just waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike into these uh, Dutch flank warriors. And it actually looks like, oh, he was going for my artillery piece here. And unfortunately, my whole line of light infantry has now just been completely exposed to the cavalry. There's no infantry at all to try and assist. My uh, Cazadores here are actually getting a volley off. And now here they go for the actual charge. There's a nice couple of buildings in the way, so he, the Netherlands won't actually be able to assist these flank whiz. And here comes the charge. The captain right at the front. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go, what a charge that was, beautiful. And we are going to finish up these flank warriors nice and fast. Nothing really to worry about there. My light infantry is just continuously being chased by, obviously, the 5e right now. So, I can't really do too much about that. So these guys are now finished up that unit of Dutch flank warriors. No more light infantry on my flank at least. And now I'm pushing up my infantry to try and assist my light infantry from getting absolutely wiped out right now because I really do need to have at least one unit of light infantry left. I do obviously have uh, some up on that hill, but it would be nice to have some on my, uh, my main flank. And I'll look at this opportunity here. The Grand Battery completely unguarded, apart from this one unit here. We don't really seem to be doing much. Now here comes the Cazadores. They're going to manage to get to the forest in time before that rocket hits. I think they only lost about one, one horse, one horse there, I think. Now here they come, charging down the Grand Battery. And what an absolute disaster it will be if I can manage to take out this Grand Battery early on, even before it started to fire. And it does look like that's going to happen. Here I come in. The men of the are with the charge. Look at it. Oh my god. The rocket hit him perfectly. Taking out a huge amount of my horse. Look at that. Absolute perfect hit. But I am going to manage to wipe up the Grand Battery. You're not going to see much more action from that. And look at this melee charge coming in from the Swiss foot into the Spanish Fusiliers. Oh my god, it does look like Spain is actually going to pick up the win against these Swiss Fit, which is very surprising. I wouldn't I wouldn't have thought that they'd uh, actually be able to do that. But look at that, what a what a perfect fight there from Spain. I don't think we lost that many. Yeah, we, don't, we didn't even lose that many, we lost about 20. And here come the Walloon Guards into the Swiss Fit. Very risky charge indeed, considering the amount of units he have left. Let's go check what's going on on this flank. A cav charge from the Netherlands into this line of infantry here. 
very nice charge. It does look like Portugal wasn't really paying attention. That's going to allow Netherlands to push up their troops further up the battle line here. And now I've managed to push back the first wave of the French attack. The ground battery is completely destroyed. And so is the light infantry, it appears. Oh, no, they've gone over there. And finally, there goes my cavalry. And here comes this charge from my hussars I had hidden. I went for a charge onto his rocket troops. And out come from the forest a bunch of French horsemen. And obviously the, uh, well, these, the, the sixth regiment. I think the brave are somewhere back here too. Yeah, there they are. And there we go there. I've lost pretty much all my gorillas except for that one unit still hidden back there. But I have done a, a huge lasting blow to uh, to France. And now here I, here I come trying to outflank France in this position. These chasseurs are in a very bad position for them right now. Completely kind of boxed in right now. I'm going to get shots off from every single angle. Now a bit of a stalemate going on on the Portuguese and Netherlands flank. As the howitzers continue to press fire onto the uh, Portuguese units. Which Grenadier has been called back after the cavalry charged right into them it seems. There's a lot of guys there. Portugal's holding the strong flank, which is good to see. He's just there, uh, just running away back to the... Well, can you call it a main section anymore? It's, it, it's a battered and bruised section of France. A lot of their units have have seen a, uh, a very difficult battle so far against myself. And now it is left to the elite units with the 6th Regiment and obviously the Brave here and some remaining uh, cavalry hidden in these forests. Here comes another rocket. Not really sure what they're aiming at. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Oh, look at this. Look at the smoke. The Netherlands looking a bit outnumbered here. Portugal's got shots on them from... Pretty much all flanks right now. If anything, Portugal could really just send these guys in for a melee charge and just clean up this whole left flank. At least that's what I would do. And Netherlands actually brought forth their general to try and inspire some of their troops who, who were on their red morale now. But from that little uh, little general bonus, they have gone up to green. Look at this, just the, the Netherlands line just being completely mowed down by the Portuguese. It doesn't look like they're going to be winning that one. But whilst that's happening, the ne Netherlands actually pushed up a bunch of light infantry to try and tackle on, sorry, take on even, this, you know, militia. And here comes some carabiners. The militia can't go into square, so this is a very good move here from Portugal's opponent. Going round the flank to oh he's actually gone into the light infantry it looks like is he gonna yes he is into the tree of a very interesting move I didn't even see these light infantry I would have thought he would have gone for the militia but I guess that does eliminate some of the shots he has made a distraction which does allow him to push up some line infantry here and actually hit this you know militia from the side who are very very slow at moving. Look at that morale's going right down to an orange colour here. Carabiners managed to take out that unit of lime tree. They're going to start to whip around the back of uh, Portugal now. I've extended my lines. I've actually finally formed somewhat of a uh, formation here. I've moved down my artillery pieces into this little forest section. And as you can see, I am now pushing up the Voluntarios. I think this is what the, uh, the Voluntarios to try and take out this unit of rocket troops but obviously the 70 back here are not going to be happy about that these lancers are deadly at their best if he can get a good charge off with them it doesn't matter if i go into square that it's just going to shred me to pieces
So we kind of like tease with each other a bit here, really. Uh, he goes for obviously a cap charge, I go into square, he backs up, I go out of square, he goes for another cap charge, so we, it's kind of back and forth. Obviously when I'm forming up like this, if he did charge into me then, it wouldn't have been as, you know, big of an effect. Uh, which you'll actually see, you'll see later on, I won't spoil anything. But, um, I'm gonna push up further here, his general unit is here, so I'm in a very good position to try and take out his general, which will obviously crush the morale of, uh, the French units. But the, the, the more he gets closer to me, the more gets shots off, and I'm going to start to take out a couple of his horses. These rockets are not very accurate today. They're missing pretty much all of their shots so far. But I am in range of the rocket troops, so I'm, I could have just kind of stayed like this into square. But I'm one of those people who doesn't like to wait. I like to kind of get into the action as fast as possible and eliminate the, uh, the units as fast as possible, which sometimes doesn't play off too well for me. Let's see what's going on on this flank over here. Portugal's actually managed to push the Netherlands onto this hilltop here. And they're going to have to fight for their lives on this hill as Netherlands are in a losing situation really right now. So he comes for the cow charge. I go into square but it is not fast enough. And his general does manage to separate some of my troops and here come the lancers. And that square formation is not looking too good. <coughs> they're going to battle out here. That's the rocket troops again. Still missing. Down goes their general. Very good. At least for me. Netherlands again. Still fighting their way. Trying to fight their way out of this. Some of Portugal's men have come back from routing. That is definitely a good sign. Some of the light infantry. The howitzers are finally taken out. <laughs> no more artillery to worry about for Portugal. This is a very good situation for them. And now France pushing up their main forces. Here come the brave on this side here. My huge line of infantry. And obviously the uh, the balloon guards are hidden. Here they are. They're somewhere here. The balloon guards will be looking to go up against the brave. They're really moaning unit you know, right now. That can kind of match them. Although they are, I'm down to 50 men. So this isn't too good. And then of course got my artillery still back here along with my light infantry. On this left flank now, the fusel is coming in for the charge. <laughs> Look at them running down, their heads bobbing. Rockets actually finally hitting their targets, and it does look like my voluntarios have come back from routing. If you look on the map here, the uh, the Netherlands end. The Portuguese still fighting it off on this hilltop. Wooden guards appear to be out of ammo. So we are going to have to get them into melee sooner. Look at this. And melee charge from the is into these, you know, the brave. Obviously, with no success. And now here come the Walloon guards. But the brave are going to manage to form up, it does seem. And they are going to get some volleys off. Well, they should be able to. Yeah, they are. Look at that. Bringing the balloon guards down to 37. Here they come in for the charge. Look at that, all bunched up. An easy win for the unit of the brave, at least in my opinion. And there we go. It does look like Spain's about to route here. This unit is about to route. There they go. There go the balloon guards. 
He's got to charge some uh, of his 70 regiment into these light infantry. And he's coming in for another charge here, but I should be able to get a couple of volleys off, taken out the remaining units of the 70. Down they go. And they are going to rout. And that is goodbye to all of the Cav of France. And now France pushing hard onto my left flank here. But I have got a spare unit which I've just brought out from the forest. The nice unit, hidden unit here, Fusiliers. Which are going to stand behind my artillery. The artillery, at least on this side of the battle, wasn't really used to its full effect. There was things always getting in the way and kind of disrupting it. But it does seem like Netherlands, at least over this side, have managed to reform and actually catch catch their breaths for a couple of seconds because Portugal has kind of stopped the assault. The men of the teams are must rest the and now I am trying to extend my right flank to try and actually get behind him if possible. He's down to these last three remaining units. And Voluntarios have come back so I can go take out his rocket units any second once I realize they've actually come back. Now look at that nice volley just mowing down those chasseurs. France in a bit of a dire situation now. It did look like they were going to actually have some sort of success in this right flank, but they've now kind of blobbed up in this middle patch here. One of our units has used all its ammunition, oh, these, uh, look at these Voltigeurs <laughs> coming back from routing, looking to put up a bit of a fight. These Fusiliers have come back from Routon as well, so they're going to come down and try and get into melee of these Voltigeurs. A nice volley coming off from my Fusiliers into these Chasseurs. I think we will be seeing the canister shot coming very shortly. Ooh, I don't think that was a canister, but I think I do actually switch to canister here to try and get rid of his last remaining units. Let's see what's going on here. Still a bit of a stalemate. Not much going on. The action really is over in this section. France now to five units. They've got a unit back here of Swissfoot. And there they go, there's the canister shot that ends it all for that unit of chasseurs. And now here comes the next unit, ready to be slaughtered. Unit of the, uh, the brave here. The brave moving into the position where the just says, just were a, lots of French dead bodies scattered around here. And I think the Brave are just one canister away from retreating. They are worn out, they are concerned, they're under artillery fire, and there they go. And here come my Voluntarios. Hopefully about to finally get rid of this unit of rocket troops which has been hammering me throughout this whole battle and now France on the retreat pulling back the remaining units Netherlands finally pushing up here with some of these carabiners Looking to get the advantage on this flank to try and have some sort of fight. Portugal pushing up all their troops. But they are just getting mowed down. One after another. Netherlands could possibly turn the table here. And it could end up with me facing off against Netherlands. And then this unit of this 6th Regiment. 
trying to escape all the musket fire. The brave have actually come back from routing. There goes the rocket troops. And now a melee charge in from behind. Could finally eliminate this unit of the sixth. And there we go, it does. And look at this, Netherlands, <laughs> from what seemed like a losing situation, have actually managed to begin to rout the remaining Portugal's units. Oh, sorry, the Portuguese units, even. A very nice charge from the Carabiners into the side of Portugal. And now France is literally down to this one last unit of the Brave. I've managed to win this flank, managed to win against France. A very, very good close performance, really, from uh, from both me and Rhaegar. It's always nice to go up against Rhaegar. And now here comes a melee charge from this unit of Jaegers. Are they even going to make it to the melee? No, they are going to rout. And there goes the Netherlands general. S still no real kind of winner here in this uh, in this fight, at least. We could about we could be about to see the end of the Portuguese general too. I am actually sending over my general. He was uh, actually oh he's lost nearly half of a. Uh, Half of their men, I think they have lost half. Now Portugal with one final push onto this unit of line inventory. Look at that, Netherlands still holding on with this unit of carabiners, very nice. The Spanish flag rising above the, <laughs> the little hill here. Going in for the charge. Here comes my general. Come to save the day. Glorious victories, huh? It's soon to be yours. Look at this coming in. The announcer has announced that we are about to win. And let's see if we can get a nice shot of my general coming in from the back here. Look at that through the smoke. That is Absolutely amazing. Now, let's take a look at this charge. Look at that. Oh my, what the? What the? <laughs> Did you see that? That was crazy. Wow, he went flying. Let's take a look what's going on there. Oh, the final melee charge. Of the brave, here come the fusiliers. The brave are completely shattered after the the hard-fought battle, and they are just going to break instantly. And now it's down to this last unit of carabiners who have caused a lot of hassle throughout this battle, but they are unfortunately going to go, and that that signals the end. For both Portugal, sorry not Portugal, Netherlands and France. And there we have it, we actually picked up the win. A very, very good performance from everyone. Really, really fun game. Uh, let's see about the stats. I deployed 1,254, redeployed 1,206, Frank deployed 1,044, and Rhaegar deployed 882. Let's see who lost the most. Frank lost the most with 897, and he also killed the most with 834. Let's go take a look at my unit stats. The balloon guards leveled up one, and the most kills was the balloon guards. No surprise there. Well, there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time.